Alright, I think we got uh, some stuff to upgrade. Now I can actually use it. Um, I got some stuff for Rebellion. I think I think I bought the shit out of everything um, for yeah, Rebellion. Yeah, like everything on Rebellion. Arbiter, I got right, everything for two. it. Yeah, that's good. I'll take it. Uh, I need that's to get good. Shredder. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you touch it right there. That's what I like it like that. You gotta get some stuff to buy for the Osiris still. Yeah. Aquila. Osiris is the Scythe. I didn't end up using the Scythe a lot because this is like a crowd control thing. Yeah. Actually, I need that because I use that a lot. All right. These punchy things are really good. Snake Eye. Um. Ooh, that's the. Uh, I need to get that. That is the the stinger. There you go. Of this one. So there we go. So I noticed, like in this game, like you don't spend red orbs you on do. upgrades because you, do? you you don't get you don't get the ability to upgrade your your health. Or your devil trigger to like halfway in the right, game. Right, right. But I'm saying like to upgrade your moves, you don't use no orbs. You use ability. This points. is similar to Devil May Cry Four. Well, yeah. Well, that we uses crowd a, souls, but this is like well, that's ability one ability. Points. Well, it's like one ability point, you know, for one ability. It's not yeah. like crowd soul where it's like five thousand for this or six thousand for that. Yeah, yeah. There's no currency to it. It's just it is, it's just a skill tree. It is it is quite literally just a skill tree. I kind of like Devil May Cry Four is a little bit more. Um, because it seems, I don't know, it seems like I'm learning, like, way too much stuff. Like, by the end of Devil May Cry... Yeah, even if you're playing this game new, you can, if you, uh, you, if you play everything. it right and you find the, the lost souls... You can you, learn everything. You can learn, like, you can learn, the, you can have everything learned by, like, halfway through the game up to that point. See, Kat's got a great butt, shut up. Jesus Christ. I've never said anything that was wrong with her ass! Alright, alright, I'm just glad we had this conversation. What, what game were we looking at recently and you were like, she doesn't have enough of a butt? And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, fuck, what were we talking about? <laughs> well, what, what game was that? I don't know. Um, I think it was, it might have been Lady in DMC4, but she had a butt. Uh, fuck, some character. I think it was Lady. Was it Lady? Okay. Yeah, she doesn't have enough of a butt. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> no, man, gotta have a butt. Nothing wrong with it. No, it was Anarchy Reigns. It was Anarchy Reigns, that's what it was. We were looking at one of the chicks and she totally had this ass and you're like, she needs more of a butt. And I was like, what the fuck? I'm like... <laughs> had a narrow butt. She, it was not. The thing we were looking uh, at, we were looking at like one of the, the, the Chinese chunky his, chicks. His hands moved because you understand that Virgil is uneasy about meeting his brother. A little character development. Well, thanks for spoiling it. Now we know who he is before we met. Fuck you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this scene. Dante, it really is you. <laughs> what? I do kind of like Dante's kind of reaction yeah. to this. Like I, yeah, Dino as a character pisses you off. When you play the game, you kind of like him. Not much. I met at Jadis when I was seven. Why my memory? Why? <laughs> they told me I had a car accident that resulted in total amnesia. Age. I, love, I do like Dino's reaction here. Your point? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck <Yes>. what? <laughs> you are not human, Dante. All war is fought with deception. You have been deceived. Your past has been hidden from you for a reason. Rewind a bit. Who are you again? <laughs> My name is Virgil. I established the order to help find a way to fight the demons. Besides swords and bullets, you mean? Such weapons can win battles, but not the war. We use force, yes, but we also use intelligence, politics, propaganda. We are also known as 4chan. We can make a dent. Wow. <laughs> make a dent. With the two of us working together. This guy looks like he looks like a fucking so Buffy character about. to me. Holy shit! Yeah, he looks like that blonde guy on Buffy. Spike? Is that his name? I think so. I didn't watch Buffy very much. Neither did I. I knew the only I the only Buffy I fucking really watched was the original Buffy movie. Oh, I never saw that either. Dude, I, it's fantastic. I knew a chick who was like all fucking into Buffy one time. Pee Wee it plays a vampire in it. He's amazing. Wait, wait. Oh, Paul Rubin or yeah, Paul Rubin plays a vampire in it. He's in fucking old old Buffy. He's That's hilarious. Wow, I need to see this movie. Now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I only really know Buffy from a friend, and you know, she was all up fucking Spike's grill. Please give me a chance to show you. Show me what? But yeah, he, he even he still, I mean, I, I, he just looks like a Buffy character. <laughs> yeah. He really does. Maybe Ninja Theory are secret Whedon fans. 
I, I would not doubt that. I mean, they're probably not even considering they're probably not even secret Weed fans. They're probably just Weed. Considering fans. how kind of hipster this game is, <laughs> you know, it, it, I could see that. Buffy was a total like, kind of like hipster thing to be into. I guess maybe Weeden is uh, too popular now to be into if you're a hipster. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not. I won't lie. I get a little hipster on people when it comes to like old games and stuff. Like I like this before other people. That fuck you. <laughs> kind of like I'm like, oh man, I'm being, I'm being a gamer hipster. That's not yeah. good. And I think he looks ridiculous in that hat. <laughs> I, okay, here's what. Here's my thing. From a profile shot, it doesn't look bad. But from every other fucking angle, it looks terrible. <laughs> It's like, we gave him the shitty little fedora thing, because that's what's cool and in right now for young people to be wearing. Well, that's again the hipster thing. Yeah. Or if you're Jeremy Parrish. Is he a Kotaku so- editor? No, one up. I'm sorry, uh, Jeremy. I didn't mean to make fun of your hat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know Nintendo really likes it, too. <laughs> what the fuck? We were at, a, like, one of those roundtable meetings at E3 last time, and Nintendo was yeah. like, I want to mention Jeremy Parrish is wearing a really nice hat, and it's like that same little fedora thing and I'm like um awkward like desiccated squirrel semen really (laughs) when he says semen he wipes it on her (laughs) good stuff Fuckhead. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> well, the good thing is is that when Dante comes out of this fucking cutscene, or when he comes out of this house, he's a different character. He's raw, just like I found you. Wow. Virgil, do you, do you ever think about what you what say? What you just fucking say to what people. What you say, when you say Maybe it. you should think about what you say before you fucking say it. Especially when you're live in video game world. Live from Devil May Cry, Virgil's an ass. This level looks great. A lot of the levels you realize. What the fuck was that? It was um, the chick's reflection or the, her little like ghost oh, okay. spirit. Like got right in front of the camera. Gotcha. I was the fuck. That's nothing. Let's go. Going through the house. It's funny. I, I kind of miss you know the run from Devil May Cry Four, but then you realize you don't really need it. You always feel like your character's moving at a good speed. Yeah. So in the past, so Dino was, was really Bruce Wayne. Yep. Then he turned into Batman, and then Batman died. <laughs> Dino! Ugh. They're creepy and they're kooky. They're all together funky. The dilly 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 The Sparta family. God damn it, Max. You are so white. Yeah. Don't know how to rhyme. Got no jive. Can't do it. Continue the song, Simmons. Go. No. <laughs> no. I don't want it. Because you know why? Because I'm white, too. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Let me fuck this up. Oops. Hold well, on. Let me fuck this uh, up. Yeah. Take care of it, boys. See? I told you. Dope. Didn't get that guy before. There's only five left. In the whole game? I said 35 or 40. That must be to like a certain achievement of some oh, kind. Okay. There's got to be more than that. Yeah, I was about to say. Fucking hell. There's like 10 per level practically. Yeah. There are eight, like, did we say it before? There's a ton of fucking secrets in this game. <clears throat> this is a great place. Shit. Like a vacation resort for the damned. It's like, how can there not be like graffiti all over these walls? <laughs> How is this place not ransacked by teenagers? Yeah, no, it's like, have you ever seen an abandoned house? Like, it's always just completely, like, fucked. Painted with gr- gr- gra- graffiti. And and there's like, porn what, everywhere. Well, the zap, and it's like, I always struck me as odd you know, on those abandoned, ho- on abandoned houses with all the graffiti. I'm like, you find an abandoned house, so you decide to just fucking write work, like letters all over it. What's the point? <laughs> it's like, not enough people are going to see this or care. I don't know. I don't understand graffiti. Maybe it's. Is Sparta the king of Spain? My dad. Is he Magneto? Is no, that what they're trying to tell Magneto. us? No, If he was Magneto, he'd be wearing that pimp-ass suit. With all those ribbons and medals and shit. And I still... I still think Capcom's a bunch of bitches for, like, Cap- for removing that. What was that guy's name? King whatever? 
King Romulus? I don't fucking know. Romulus. The King of Spain that uh, he looked like. Shut up! Oh god, new enemies. Yeah, we were gonna make a joke about that in retro and we had to, like, cut it out, right? Up next. Yeah, we had to take it out. Um, what did we call him? Because it was like the King of Spain's name or something. Uh, uh, I forget. It's bugging me now. And everyone on, on YouTube is like grabbing the monitors going, It's fucking so and so! It's fucking so and so, uh, you idiots! How'd you forget that? I don't know. I, I don't know. We don't live in Spain. So. <laughs> what are you trying <laughs> Sorry. To I have no problem against Spain or the Spanish people. Spanish. <laughs> Spanish people. In fact, I find them I find them a wonderful culture. <laughs> nah, I touch this. This is where you actually learn Arbiter. No, we've already got it. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. The juices flow through me! So wait, we don't go. Oh, no. Dude, we don't go into that area if you already have it. I think. Oops. More. Next. Shit. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos here. Hey, Juan! <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, let me just sit here and think about it in my brain. What you do? Loaded. You know what you do to, to, to try to remember things that you can't remember? Think of uh, something think else. Something else. <laughs> yeah. Because your brain literally gets caught up in a loop. Right. Wow, I was pressing a button and didn't do anything. Fuck. Actually, well, it's kind of true, because like usually when something like that's happening, what I'll do is I'll start thinking of things that were going around and happening at the time. So I, you know, think I was thinking back to like retro and to Mike and the arguments we were having with him over the use of the joke, and I thought, was and then it kind of came to me then. Sure you can. Because yeah, the joke was, I think it's okay to say it. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when you went to the arcade, this was back when the arcade battle was actually going yeah. to be a, in, a fucking battle, and then we're like, we the can't arcade. shoot this. Yeah, inside the arcade. Yeah. When we got there, and you, you know, you're stepping up to the arcade machine, you're about to play Marvel, and then I'm looking around at all the people who, you know, kind of eyeing the competition, and I go, "Hey, hey, is that Juan?" And you're like, "No, I don't." And you're like, "No, that's that's Magneto." And I go, "Oh, you're full of shit, Max. That's Juan. Me and Juan go way back." And I go, hey, Juan! And then, like, I would walk off camera. Yeah. Hey, Juan! <laughs> yeah. Like, Doom, because he's a ruler of a European country, knows Juan Carlos, and he yeah. confuses Magneto for him because he's got the alternate outfit. Yeah. It was kind of a deep joke. Like, it, it's kind of like a multi layered gag. Which, I thought it was actually and funny it's really, enough on its own without my, it. In my opinion, it's actually really good and really funny. But at the same time, it would have been super lost, I think, on the majority of people that would have been watching. There's a little graffiti. Does it say anything? I don't think so. Hold on. I have to. I have to save this soul. Uh, Geminus Kings. Criminal Kings. Okay. Criminal Kings. Because there's a crown on the top. I can kind of read a little bit of graffiti. I had, I had some friends who were into that art in high school. Max is fucking from the streets. Not really. Dude, you would have no idea how many of my friends I lost friends like art friends that are actually really good at art due to tagging. And that's what they ended up doing, was becoming taggers. And then they're fucking amazing at it. And they became taggers and they ended up going to jail for a long time. Just for tagging? For well, else? for other related things that come along with oh, you know, tagging. Say, like, could, you, could you not just be a tagger and not <laughs> fall into a life of crime? Is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know, but that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, shit. I don't know. I mean, we, we grew up in L.A., so, like... It's, it's so part of the, you know the, the scenery around here, and we're so used to it. Like, I don't really look at graffiti as that much of a negative as, you, as a lot of other people do. I mean, there's there are very certain signs. There's certain you, you eventually start learning what the certain signs, symbols, numbers. Yeah. And you know which ones mean 
bad things, and you know which ones are you know not you know not so bad. But yeah, some of the tagging is actually really cool, and some of it's really creative. Some of it's actually good art. Yeah, it's got some really you know sometimes it's really good art, and then then there's certain things which are you know not not as a not saying this is always true, but as a general rule, the simpler and smaller a tag is, usually the worse it. it, it the worse it means like this yeah. this is usually like if it's like a really simple squiggle like a couple letters and a couple numbers that usually means okay this is fucking that gang's territory like yeah. stay the fuck out or whatever next time on Devil May Cry Jet Set Radio <laughs> look out for the police <laughs>